guys, this is V to the Valinet. <laughs> And this is Ada Hill Knight. Oh god, really? We're gonna use this? Alright, so this is part two of our quest of lore that doesn't bore. So yep. we're continuing on from our last spot, which is we just defeated Marshall Redpath and his rebellious Forsaken. Yep, and now we need to turn our attention towards the Scarlet Crusaders, who've made an outpost at the Scarlet Monastery, and uh holdouts at the farms in Tirasol Glades. Uh, your goal is to kill their leaders um, by revealing their names. Or revealing the names of their leaders and killing them will help you kill more Scarlet Crusaders. Alright, so... Something. <laughs> <laughs> something of that effect. <laughs> Basically, you're killing people. Alright. Yeah, you're killing humans. <laughs> this is the first time you actually can kill a living thing. Besides the spiders. Because they don't count. They're evil. <laughs> all uh, spiders must die. All spiders must die. Even Charlotte. <laughs> and her way. <laughs> Alright. So, killing humans, we gotta kill the farmers. Why? Because they're potentially agents of the Alliance. Even though the Scarlet Crusade is not currently aligned with the Alliance. Yeah, they're their own faction. They're their yeah. own faction. They just want to smite the undead. Yeah. That's their whole. That's goal. more important than being in the alliance. Basically, they're taking up Arthas's, um, I guess, path of vengeance towards the scourge. Yeah, we're or, and forsaking at this point. So now, I haven't been playing the game as long as you, but was the Scarlet Crusade, the faction in the monastery and all that, was that set up before Arthas became the Lich King? Um, that was set up... Because I know there was Undead and Scourge around before Arthas was Lich King. Yes. Uh, basically what happened is... I'm assuming once Arthas turned... And... Um, Arthas turned and there was no, I guess, leading Order of the Light trying to smite the Undead. They kind of went Renegade, just like Arthas did. Okay. Yeah, and some of the mobs in there are zealots and or zealous. You know, that's their description on their nameplate, um, which says a bit about the faction that they're so involved in killing the undead that they go off by themselves and practice and you know make their own faction. Yeah. So pretty much, they've turned their back on the alliance. Turned their back on everyone else that could be potential allies. And trying to solve this problem on their own. Yeah, because, like, many... I won't say it. <laughs> <laughs> I won't say it. Don't All make right. me go there. Alright, so after killing some farmers, um, you have to, once again, prove yourself to the Dark Lady and learn the ways of the Forsaken by stealing ten pumpkins. Because that's what the Horde does. <laughs> we're criminals. We steal things. Oh, yeah. Because well, both of us play Horde characters, so we're the Horde. <laughs> <laughs> we're not exactly criminals. Not exactly. But if it's against the Alliance, then yes. Murder Rifle <laughs> Village! <laughs> <laughs> Alright. So, um, one of the... Well, the owner of the Calston uh, outpost, homestead, whatever, whatever you want to call it, um, is Cedric Calston. And he's, you know, was a noble in life, and now he's undead, and he doesn't know what to do with himself because he's gonna live forever, basically. And what's he gonna do? So he has you go to the uh, northern shore and capture a murloc so that he can have one as a pet. And that's the last time you ever see Cedric Calston. <laughs> so this proves the point that um, yes, there are quests that involve lore, and they're just side quests just for the hell of it. Yep. So this is one of them that's just for the hell of it. I mean, it's XP. You can't you can't knock that. Yeah, and it's a fun uh, uh, mechanic to go and wrangle up a murloc and then drag him back to town. <laughs> and then leave him as a pet for a very lonely man in a room all by himself. Okay, can we not go there? Yeah, let's, let's get this move well, on. Okay, let's, let's yeah, get yeah. You guys get it. All right, so um, walking around, you see one of the signposts, and there's a saddle on it. 
which I don't know if many of you guys have seen this saddle, but there's a saddle there. Um, and it points to a farm, because, hey, you need saddles for horses, horses to plow and, you know, take care of all the other farmly things. And these farms pr provide for the Scarlet Crusade and the monastery. This is where you steal the pumpkins from. You need to kill the adjacent Scarlet Warriors who are protecting said farm. Yeah, so you're stealing, you're, well, you're pillaging, and you're killing. All yeah. you're missing is the reaping. Okay, let's not go there. Yep, we already better skip that. <laughs> um, so as you kill the uh, Scarlet Warriors, you find a letter, and it talks about a undead prisoner they have captured that they are going to execute. So, as an undead, what are you going to do? You're going to save them. You're going to rescue them. It's very Star Wars-esque. Oh, there's someone in trouble. Let's go save them. I'm here to rescue you. <laughs> it turns out this prisoner is Lillian Voss, who is... A high priest... Well, actually, she's the daughter of High Priest Voss. High Priest Voss was actually one of the main leaders of the Scarlet um, Crusade. Yep. All right. Well, moving on. So... You're going to rescue her. You, you, know, you go back to town and tell the town guard captain that this is going on. Um, you also need to now handle... Oh, because, you know, multiple things happening at the same time give you different parts of the lore. You have to handle the Scourge, because they're invading too. All right, so the Scourge is invading from the north. There's the human infestation from the south. And uh, we need to test pumpkin bombs. <laughs> Because Cinderella ain't coming home tonight. Yeah. <laughs> We're gonna test our new plague out. Um, and just kind of make Sylvanas happy. Yes. So she doesn't suck the life at now, whatever's left. For those of you who don't know the lore, the plague was spread through wheat. Yep, the farmlands. And now since this area is kind of barren, and only certain lands now are farmlands, but they're not necessarily the most populated... What Sylvanas is trying to do is figure out a way of spreading more of this plague so they can create more Forsaken. Yeah, like a, like a delivery method. Yes. Like a, a smoke bomb or something, but with plague. Yeah, but you would think maybe pies would be a lot easier. I don't know. Dwarves like pie. I like pie. <laughs> hey, yo. Anyway. <laughs> All right. So uh, at the town there, the Master Holland in Brill had asked Gordo, who's in the town, to find someone to help him. He says to gather three gloom weeds, all right, and bring them back so that he can use them for his alchemy to create his own plague. So, you know, you go to Brill and give him the three gloom weed and go, all right, you know, here's your stuff. Do whatever you do with your potions and your bottles and bubblies. Your bubblies. Yeah. Get to cracking. So you... You eventually go talk to the uh, head of the town, the mayor or the magistrate Severin. Um, I like I like the fact that they still hold their titles, even though it just doesn't mean a thing when you're undead. Yeah, there's, there's no reason to you know elect somebody new when that guy's not going to die. <laughs> <laughs> um, he says, "Impress me, and you may end up meeting the Banshee Queen himself." Herself? Herself. I was thinking about magistrate. <laughs> I don't know about you, but I'd be thinking about a chick, not a dude. All right. Well, he was the one talking. <laughs> so he sends you on a... Uh, he gives you two quests. One leads you down towards the Western Plague Lands, a recon mission, scout out the Scourge that are getting past the bulwark, which at this point we're skipping. And he, the other quest is to talk to the town guard, help out around here, and uh, says to kill the captain of the local Scarlet Outpost tower and uh, take out his henchmen and stuff. Just kind of cleanse the area of the human infestation. Alright, well the Death Guard, the you know the town guard we said before, um, they need supplies so that they can fight the Scourge. So he sends you on a mission to the Undercity with a supply order. And this quest basically teaches you how to use the flight paths, which if it's your first character ever, it's pretty useful. For those of us that are, well, those of us that are veterans or, you know, just kind of used to the game, it's kind of boring, but yep. easy XP. 
really annoying. So then you have to just have to sit there and wait. There's nothing you can do. I don't know. Every time I do this one, I just go grab a drink while I'm flying back and forth. Yeah, it's pretty easy. One of those ones you, you know, just walk away. Your end point of the flight is very safe. You don't have to worry about being ganked or anything, even on PvP servers. Um, so Sylvanas wants a new plague, and she has everyone to make her a new plague. So this guy in Brill says, I think I can do it, but I need dark hound blood. And that will make us the plague. So you go out and kill some hounds. Yeah. That's basically it. Another kill quest. But there's a little surprising twist to this kill quest. As you're killing a hound, you get surprised by a worgen rogue. Yep. Um, you would think he would have killed you before you killed the hound, but, you know, considering you're killing something like itself. Yeah, it was more important to him to sneak up on you and then talk to you instead of sneaking up on you and backstab you. <laughs> Silly rogues. Because, you know, rogues like to do it from behind. Yeah, everything, even talking. <laughs> so, um, basically, this worgen rogue surprises you and says that the Forsaken will pay for what they've done. Which was put the plague out so much in the land that all the Gilneans had to retreat behind the wall. And then succumb to the the curse. And so they're blaming the Forsaken as the cause of all this. Or the scourge. Which in some respects is true, although it wasn't the direct cause. Yes. It was you know, the instigating cause. If there's anyone to blame, it's the Lich King. Or uh that guy in Shadowfang Keep, Archmage... Uh, oh, yes. I the guy that. who was experimenting with all the worgen. Yes, yes. What's his name? Oh, you leave it, leave it in the comments. We can't think of it right now. <laughs> I, I know who you're talking about. He shows Archmage. up quite a few... Archmage! Bam! Go. All right. So you receive an urgent memo regarding Lillian Voss uh, that she has escaped, and she's slain 15 men. And this is what the Scarlet Crusade is saying. So, uh... She's now an enemy to the crusade and must be killed. And if you can prove that she's dead, High Priest Voss will give you a 1,000 gold reward. And so this is a message to all the Scarlet Warriors. And you go back to town, and you don't think that anyone there is going to give you 1,000 gold for killing an undead. But it makes you think, why would someone put a kill order on one random undead? Well, no, this is High Priest Voss. He's putting a kill order out on his daughter. Yeah, well, most players wouldn't make the connection, or most Scarlet Warriors wouldn't even make the connection. So Because what, they don't know her name. Yes. But, see, the thing is, right now, what the Scarlet Crusade is trying to preserve is their um, hierarchy of order. High Priest Voss is a High Priest. He's one of the leaders. And if they find out that one of his buddies, High Inquisitor Fairbanks, is undead... You know, there's going to be dissension among the ranks. Yep. They're going to be like, wait, we're trying to kill Undead, and we're being led by Undead? I'm so confused! So, we're going to leave it here for now. Yep. Um, leave ponder you think on this. about that. If you guys can figure out what that little piece of lore is, we'll probably find it out later, and we'll say it on part three, but... Um, yeah. Archmage. Archmage. Shadow Fang Keep. Keywords. Google. Yes. Wow. <laughs> Contest? No. <laughs> nah. No, sorry. Maybe... Maybe... maybe Maybe future episodes. ones. Yeah. yeah. Future ones, future ones. But yeah, um, you guys have a good one, and we'll catch you on the next one. All right. Later. Yes.